Sup guys, He King here bringing you another manga review this week on the latest One Piece chapter 1043. We die together. So yeah, last chapter man ended with Luffy getting hit by Kaido thanks to that uh, CPO agent getting in the way. And this week's chapter is... It's, it's going to be one of those chapters that's going to get you very hyped for what's to come next because we get a big massive revelation it seems in this chapter. It's It's been one that's been building up for years and we're finally getting it and it's 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 insane. So let, let's just go through it. Let's just go through this chapter and go through it. So the cover page this week is a Germa 66 Cold Blooded Voyage Volume 7 uh, arriving at Hall Cake Island. So we see Oven with the book arriving with I believe his sister Broly is it? And yeah they're going through. Loki what are you doing? Loki, he's playing by the door with the little no noise, buddy. Go on. Sorry about that. Cats will be cats. So yeah, we're here over with the book and going to Blurry to Whole Cake Island. We see the cake is still collapsed. They haven't fixed that yet. So you know that's that. Let me bring the laptop a bit closer. So hmm, okay. Uh, and yeah, let's just go for it. So yeah, this this chapter is pretty much the best way to describe it. It's pretty much chaos. Okay, Kaido just goes nuts in this chapter, basically, until we get to the end of it, where it's like, oh wow, like what what happened there? But before we do, well, let's just go through this. So we we get we get the aftermath. Luffy's been hit. He goes down. Boom. Uh, he's cuffing up. The CP agent just stands there watching. He knows what's up. We see the third CPO agent. We don't know what this dude's been up to. I think he's he's been sitting in that room, in that same room the whole time. Maybe he's somewhere else. Don't know. Uh, Luffy opening his mouth, obviously, from the hit and all the gas, all the, the energy power that he built up from his gear for uh, just spilling out. Kaido sees this. He knows it's over. Momonosuke can sense that uh, Luffy's gone down because he can't hear his voice anymore. And... Yeah, Kaido is just, he's, he's angry and you've got the CPO dude just standing there. He's just like crossed up, like he's got his hat and he's like, yeah, he's, he's not even going to look. Like, he, he's not even smiling. He knows what it's about to happen. He knows he's about to die. And like, Kaido's just like, do you know what you've done? And he raises that club and he brings it down on the dude. And yeah, the roof just, the roof on Onigashima, on the skull, just explodes. Uh, we see the CPI, we see the other the other CPO agent, uh, the, the one that's still alive, uh, looking out, uh, I don't know, for a window or open window or doorway. I think it's an open window and he can sense, he can sense that I think he's, his commander is dead. I'm surprised by this. I fought for a guy who's supposed to be the top dude in CP, in, in the CP organization, that he would be able to hold his own, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Like, the Gorosei ordered this guy to his death, essentially, and yeah, he... It looks like he's dead. I don't think he's dead dead. I think I think he might be very, very injured. But uh, the way that one uh, a CPI dude is just like... We, don't, we can't even see his expression because he's wearing the bloody mask. But uh, it, it feels like maybe he's like, mm, yeah, my, my commander is dead. Damn. So we, we get a catch up on a lot of the characters. We see Kama, what's his name? We see uh, Kawamatsu um, with the group, the ceilings, like, you know, it's breaking down. The fire is still spreading. And we get this big laser beam, this blast just coming down onto where they are and Kaido in his dragon form comes down and he's pretty much like, yo, um, give up, it's over, where's Momonosuke, bring Momonosuke to me, surrender, Luffy's dead, blah blah blah, it's over, the fight is over. We even get the declared winner, you know, Kaido, uh, you know, beast of the beast of the pirates basically, we get we get that. So yeah, Kaido is the victor of the, of the rooftop battle, king of the beasts, we get, we get that little message in the panel there. So yeah, this fight, this fight is over essentially. Kaido won this fight unexpectedly. Luffy lost. Um, which, like, damn, I don't think we, we saw, we, we, I don't think any of us saw this coming unless you're, what's his name, uh, Morichi or whatever his name is. Uh, I think he saw it coming. <laughs> so well done to him for predicting that. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the Beast Pirates are celebrating. Um, Law and Kid, you know, they can they, they can feel that his voice has gone. Law specifically, you know, his, his voice has vanished. Uh, yeah, like, and, and Chopper, he's hearing that. Uh, uh, what's her name? Ta Tomwa. Uh, freaking Nami, like, you know, Luffy can't have lost. He, 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 you know, he's not dead. It's impossible. 
And uh, Kaido's like, oh, you, you, some of you are not giving up, uh, you know, so some still want that their spirits break. Uh, they don't believe him, they're calling him a lie. He shoots out a beam and you got Marco, Marco coming in and predicting uh, Tama and uh, Nami, it appears. Um, you know, and he's like, don't give up, uh, not until it's all over. So, you know, he's protecting them. And Kaido's just like, Onogashima will now land on the flower capital without delay. You, you'll find I won't be as soft as Orochi was. So yeah, things are not going as planned. Like, things things have escalated to basically hell pretty much very, very quickly. And he's giving this very big speech about how they're all just slaves and how he doesn't care about the country because it's just a weapon factory to him. You know, all the women, children, everyone here is going to be a slave. All the people that opposed him, you know, they're going to pay for this uh, oppression or this rebellion, if you will. Uh, and you know some of them are begging but it's like nope you know no I'm not hearing it you're all gonna pay for this you know bring me no Minosuke and he's like this doesn't end until then he's flying above everyone they're all on like yeah it's just it's just like they're all out it appears they're all outside or inside like I don't know how the structure of this is built but uh, yeah it's it's just insane and then you've got uh, uh, what is it kid and law about to be attacked by the beast pirates I mean they're exhausted they're tired they can't hold her on and you've got these guys going for them and you've got their crews dropping in to protect their captains and um, uh, Niko Mamushi with Carrot like you know this doesn't sound good let's go like we get the moment with them two like jumping in like going to wherever it is they're going we cut to the basement and the fire is just spreading we cut back to Law and Kid you know Law, you know, Kid's like building the freaking mechanical arm Law is standing up pulling his sword out you know they're gonna you know they're gonna fight like he like Kid specifically says you know I'm fighting Trafalgar surrendering or letting him kill us are both out of the question and he's like Law, Law just seems very disappointed like damn straw hat like <laughs> Like, he can't believe it. No one can believe it. You, they, you know, they all thought Luffy had it in the bag, but no. And then you got Momonosuke still trying to pull Ogun, uh, you know, Onigashima away from the flower capital. And he's like, you know, we, we gotta give up. Like, we gotta give up. Like, Luffy was the only one that could stand up to it. And he's, he's gone. It's done, you know. And Yamato is arguing against that, you know. This isn't, you know, isn't that the way of the, you know, you, you can fight until your last breath. Isn't that the way of the samurai? If not us, then who? Everyone else is at their limit. Even Kaido must be feeling. And she's right. Like Kaido's uh, at this point. Kaido's going to a point where obviously he must have exhumed, exhausted a lot of his energy while fighting Luffy. Like even if there's no one powerful there, you know, someone or at least multiple people have to try and make f continue fighting on because you're not going to get another good chance like this ever again. Right, so, and Yamato's right, she is correct, they need to fight, like, they need to fight. Mawanosuke is making good points as well, because they'll, they'll be throwing their lives away, but this whole raid, this whole 20 years, as she put it, like, you know, it's all been for this day, they cannot just quit. You know, she even says, in the end, surrendering won't save anyone, and, and Mawanosuke, he realises that, like, and she continues on, you know, all the da daoyo that allowed Orochi to have his way went to their graves full of regret. Everything Wano endured for the past 20 years was for the sake of this. And she's right, it was for the sake of this battle, like... And then we get the title of the chapter, basically, what it refers to, you know, even if surrender is our only option, I'd rather we die together, and yeah. You know, it's like Momonosuke realizes, like, yeah, that's... You know what, that's a good bloody point, like, it's it's better than surrendering and, and getting tortured and becoming slaves, like, we might as well just go all out, go all out finish this fight until the bitter end. And yeah, very beautiful panel here with just Yamato like like oh man, like I really hope she joins the straw ads. Like she She's got she's got spunk man, like you know she's she's throwing truth facts out there like and we just cut to Kaido just blasting off like these beams, just destroying the entire area. And then we cut to Luffy and we get the biggest you know WTF like I think that we've ever gotten like next to maybe Rizo, you know, it, it being revealed that Rizo was on Zao. Because like for how many years, for how many years people have been theorizing and now we're about I think I think we're about to get like like this big confirmed revelation, uh, because we we cut to Luffy. He's on the ground and we cut to Zushina, the elephant, and, and she's speaking to Momonosuke, and she's like, Momonosuke, and Momonosuke, you know, while he's talking to Yamato, and he's confused, he's hearing this, like, huh? I can hear it. It really takes me back. And, and you know, Momonosuke, he's just confused, like, like what the hell's going on? Like, what do you mean, Zushina? And he's like, I can hear the drums of liberation, and you get the dum, 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 like, oh my 
god, imagine what this will be like in the anime. Like, are they gonna play that dun 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 dun? dun or is it gonna be a different variation of that? Like, oh my god, I can hear the drums of liberation. This is the first time in 800 years he is there without a doubt. And Momono's like, who is it? And it's like, Joy Boy, like, I'm getting chills reading this man, like, I'm getting chills. And we cut to Luffy. We cut to Luffy and he's grinning. He's not out, he's not knocked out, he's grinning. And, and something is happening to his body, like, 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 like the straw had his hair, whatever it is, it's melting. It's melting into like, like rubber or jelly or something. And the last line of Zushina is, he has returned. Joy Boy, he has returned and it's Luffy man, we're cutting to Luffy, smile, grinning and just something is going on and, and, and a quiet smile like, holy crap, like the big reveal this chapter is basically that Joy Boy is Luffy, that Luffy is the reincarnation of Joy Boy, what does this mean, is this he's awakening, is Luffy awakening his devil fruit ability essentially, and what's going on with the melting, it, is that his hair melting, uh, turning into rubber, into jelly, into whatever that is, is it the straw hat, it, it, is, are we going to get some big massive revelation that reveals to us that the, you know, that the rubber rubber fruit, the gomu gomu no no me, it is, is not just the rubber rubber fruit perhaps? Like, like he's steaming, it looks like he's steaming and it's, what is going on here? Like, like, I'm just like, like, you know, perplexed to like, uh, what's going on here? Like, like, what? Wh what? Like, you guys have no idea, like, when I read the spoilers for this week and, and we got that revelation, it was like, like, wait, what? Like really? Like like it was the biggest goosebumps and chills I've ever felt when reading One Piece. And and just see it in this chapter to see this big like thing happening. And the fact that we're gonna be on a break next week, which is the worst part of this. But imagine what's gonna happen. Are we like, oh my god? Like are, are we gonna get some history dished out like like Luffy is Joy Boy? For Christ's sake, Luffy is Joy Boy! Let that sink in, guys! How many years has it been since we first heard that name, right? That name of Joy Boy, that character, and, and like there's been so many theories, right? People always saying that maybe Luffy is Joy Boy, or he's the reincarnation, or or who expected this? Like, like it is, is even Zushino referring to him though? And I think it is, I think it is. I mean, the fact that it's cutting to Luffy and he's smiling, man, he's smiling like, and, and something's happening like, like, oh my God. And, and the idea, like, someone made a good comment about it, like, you know, awakening, waking up, essentially, like, this is Luffy waking up, and it's a way, he's, it, he's awakening, has awakened, as he's waking up, I, I don't know, like, like, I'm just trying to think here, like, what does this mean, how has this happened, how has this occurred, and I keep coming, coming back to, like, Shanks giving that straw hat to him, is the straw hat, this is the thing right now, guys, is the straw hat more than just a straw hat at this point? Is there something more to it that we don't know? Is it is it is that is is it a straw hat in the end? Is it actually a straw hat? Did the straw hat actually belong to Goldie Roger? Did it belong to Joy Boy? And when Shanks gave it to him, like, is there a reason he gave it to him specifically? Is it because Luffy ate the Gomu Gomu no Mi and that maybe did something like that screwed up maybe a plan that Shanks had and it's like, oh, well, okay then you're gonna have to get the straw hat then and maybe this is something something that's 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 been like been building up for years like like shanks has been waiting for this moment be, and it's it, i don't know is it some sort of a, a combination a power like that that you need the gomu gomu no mi and the straw i don't know i'm throwing crazy theories out here right now but like the fact that we don't see the straw that it looks like that maybe it's melting and becoming part of whatever's happening to luffy it, it, it's making me wonder like is there something more to it and is there something more to the uh, rubber rubber fruit that we didn't know about and it's some sort of combination happening at the same time in this very exact moment that it's required and something big like 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 ah oh, ah oh, man like what is going on what is going on here guys i'm freaking out i'm freaking out like <sighs> holy i This is unexpected. It's crazy. But holy crap. Guys, 
what a chapter a chapter that just starts off with with despair and then chaos and then pure horror and then uh, you know just like you know determination and confirmation of accepting death to you know, there is hope there is hope and we get the biggest hope of all and it's like oh my god what is this going to lead to then imagine the next chapters luffy is like luffy just comes down like he's awakening stuff is going crazy and then kaido just getting the biggest wtf like both satisfaction and potential fear and realization and him just like it's joy boy like like maybe you know all this time he thought he was joy boy or maybe he thought Luke when he was fighting Luffy going oh this guy is joy boy and now it's happening and it's like we're getting to the climax of the fight this is the climax of the fight like oh my god this is what it's been building up to all these years all this build up with Wano and this is what it's been going building up to this moment right here like it feels like we're in the end game of one piece itself but we're not we're not even close to the end yet we're, we're barely there just barely there but like oh my god oh guys like i'm overwhelmed i'm very overwhelmed i'm terrified i'm excited like older man older just knocking it out the park here like oh oh man uh Anyway, guys, like, what's more there to say? Like, what what can we expect next chapter? I, we can expect, a, <laughs> we can expect a big, shocking, like, reaction from all the characters, and and until we get to the fight, the chapter after that. But like, oh my god, guys, these next few weeks, <sighs> you know, if you thought this was hype, it's about to get even hyper now, like. Guys, oh my mind, it's racing. Oh. That was my review slash reaction, if you will, to this week's chapter of One Piece. Break next week, and yeah, I will see you in two weeks time for this then, guys. As always, guys, remember to like and subscribe, share, comment down below if you will. And as always, guys, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. <laughs>